Chuck asks if the slow pitch jigs are working. That is a great question. Mike, the answer. My good buddy, kind of a mentor. Badass, you know Chuck? Badass guy. No. Oh. Ta- Gary Kwan. Taddy Lures. Right behind you, all those Taddy Lures. Where is that thing? Is there a... Go, uh, go run to the shop, and over by the snacks on the top, you'll see a TSP jig. Go grab it so we can show these people. Perfect. Um... <laughs> So Gary's Gary's was just in a couple weeks ago, and he was out with Joey from Taddy, and um, they said it was just insane. So he let my son fish one of those vertical jigging rods. It's just a goofy looking setup because we don't fish them. You know, we'll touch on that your rod choice, by the way, I'll, that in a minute. But they're you know it's a regular size twenty size reel on this real goofy whippy thing that's rated for a hundred pound, like. How the hell am I going to catch a 100-pound anything on this thing? Right. There it is. I can bust this bad boy open. This Whoa. Is, this is what he's talking about. I get to keep it now. Sure. Throw me that bottle of water, the big one, please. Just toss it. Hit him. Hit him with it. Nice. Bam. Um, so I don't choke anymore. I We actually got to play around with it, me and my kid. And um, So what is slow pitch? It's a methodology? Yeah. Or you're, what it, is it? It's not yo-yoing. It's not, not anything. I mean, you can't really see what's going on here, but go look up Google... All you guys Google the uh, the Taddy TSP lure, and it'll show you. Look it up on on videos, but it's pretty badass because it's not quite a flat fall. It does work as a flat fall jig. God, that thing's got to be vertical, wide open. Vertical jigging. As soon as you hit the bottom, some people like fishing them with the hooks up high, which the only purpose of that would be is you don't snag the bottom too well. But you fish them like this, and you can cheat a little bit and tip it with squid, but you don't need to. They see this thing fluttering in their face, and every species that you would call a rockfish species, everything eats this. It's silly. You can fish it. doesn't have to be on a vertical jigging rod. You can fish it with just like a, a 30 or 40-pound setup, you know, some like a yo-yo type setup. But these, this what one, does the vertical jigging rod, what advantage does that give you? When you pull, when you, you kind of pop them, so it kind of snaps them up in, up in the air. You got one? Yeah. Use a, uh, Is that a vertical jigging rod? Yeah, it's a jigging rod. But uh, this one was different. This one was only about that long. I wish I had one to show you. But vertical jigging, I'm just getting into it. <coughs> you t- if you, we took this thing to San Nick, and you know this one's 150 gram. What's that in ounces? Hell, like, let me see it. That's like um, it's like a four ounce. ounce right? Yeah, right. Six ounce. Okay. Feels like four. If you fish, I bet you fish the 200 gram. If if there's no current, you're not drifting too far. This would probably work just fine. But the 200 gram plus, and you get this down through the water column, this is a lot of fun. So now, does that work locally as well as at the islands? I, local, it can. Yeah. Um, but back to what we were saying, the local fish, it's um, they don't bite the artificials. They, they don't like well, the artificials too much. Right. You know, we we were back way back when we were fishing those smaller ahi jigs. Ahi jigs. Um, yeah, the ahi jigs. It's a diamond jig. Um, those things work good. But you have to cheat locally, and you have to put a little squid on here to entice right, them. Right, right. Um, everything under the sun, pretty much everything we're catching, it looks like a big-ass hook, but it's not. It's normal size yeah. hook, and they, their mouths are that big. So whatever we catch, we'll, we'll eat it. Whitefish will struggle to catch it, and you'll, you, you know, we had, we're going to get that pollution of whitefish again locally again because of a little squid in the area. Yeah. But that vertical jigging is a lot of fun. You just kind of pop it up and down. They're they're not they're not that cheap. We sell these for twenty bucks at the shop. This is the one one twenty gram. Um, it's fun. Try it. Bring a vertical jig with you. It's not a flat ball. It's different. So this is a old bevel to it. It's kind of strange. So vertical jigging from the TSP lure from there. Try it. That's my opinion on it. It's fun. I can see up there in the Channel Islands or fishing oh, Nicholas. Or, hell out of them. It'd be crazy, yeah, right? Exactly. Patrick and I sat up in the bow and had iron one time. We were out on the Pacific Islander, I think. Yeah. And we just, you know, every single drop. It yep. was so much fun. It's such a memorable, Correct. you know, talking about fishing with your kids. The thing I can say, though, is I wouldn't <laughs> fish them on a crowded boat because if you're not aware of what this thing's doing, you're not going to be everybody's best friend because you're going to tangle everybody up. So, so Make what, sure you know what you're doing. Well, t- what do you mean by that? Exactly. Gonna, it goes down like... Yeah, it kind of flim-flams around and you're constantly jigging with everybody else's, you know, the, their their 8-ounce torpedo sinkers hopping across the bottom like this. You're going like this and taking everybody up with them. So so if you can go up to the bow and toss it yeah, up, yeah, yeah. that's a good get way up, to do it, right? Get current and give it a go and, you know, depending on, you know, where you're fishing. But we use them locally. 
We caught a sand bass and a sculpin on it with no bait. Cool. Oh, it worked really well. Benjamin was stoked. All right, very good. Cool. <laughs>